guys, Dr. K here with Momentum Physical Therapy and Fitness. Thanks for joining me today. And today we're going to talk about three quick fixes that you can do for your back pain. The first fix is not even an exercise. It's actually a position. Most people spend so much time sitting, whether it's at home watching TV, reading, or at work. And actually being in any one position, whether it's sitting, whether it's standing, or even sitting in perfect posture is really bad for your back if you do it for more than 15 minutes at a time. What happens when you do it for more than 15 minutes is that you get a lot of pressure and compression right through the spine and then through those discs that help protect that spine too. So even if you have to end up sitting like this, it's better than sitting straight up all day long with great posture. And it's even better than standing all day long too. So remember, whatever you do, whatever position you choose, try to change it every 15 minutes. That's the key for this one. The second thing you want to think about is this big back muscle called your quadratus lumborum. This is the muscle in the back that tends to get really tight no matter what's going on in the back. So one really easy way to work on that is to get a ball, whether you have a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball or something similar to that. You're going to get a chair, a stool, or a bed, something that you can rest your legs on so that you can take pressure off of the spine. So you're going to lie right down on your back, get your legs up so that the knees and the hips are bent, and again, this is to take pressure off of that spine. And then the ball that you've got is going to go alongside the spine. Make sure that it's not directly on the spine. And you'll feel, like I do, that it's really tight and probably a little bit sore. You're going to roll right back and forth across that ball. My guidelines for this one are you need to be able to breathe and you have to be able to relax your body against that ball. So if you're using a lacrosse ball like I am and it feels like you can't breathe or you can't let your body relax, you want to try to find some type of a softer ball. The guideline for how long you want to do it for is really and truly until it just feels a little bit better. And that's going to vary for every person out there. It might take 10 seconds, it might take a minute, it might take 5 minutes. But pretty soon you'll figure out, oh yeah, that really doesn't hurt as bad as it did when I first started that. And if you're having back pain on both sides, once it starts to feel better on one side, you take that ball and do the exact same thing on the other side. You may feel a little bit of muscle achiness or soreness when you're done. And then you can go ahead and try to use a little bit of heat or ice, depending on truly which feels better for your body. And every body is going to vary in which feels the best for them. And then the third thing you can do is actually work on a muscle that's not related or not in the back at all, but your hip flexor muscles. Those are muscles in the front of the leg that come all the way up right into the front of the abdomen and then dive right down deep and attach right into the spine. So they're muscles in the front of the leg, but they really work on the spine because of where they attach. And again, when we sit all day long, or even when we're driving, things like that, those muscles get tight, tight, tight. And we really want to make sure that they're as loose as they can be so that our back is working well too. So a really great, easy way to do that, especially if you work at a desk, is to stand on up, take one foot and put it right up on your desk chair or your stool. Think about trying to tighten up those lower abdominals because you can never go wrong there. Think about pulling that belly button in towards that spine doing a little bit of a tilt through the pelvis, staying up nice and tall. And if you notice, this leg that I have on the ground is staying nice and straight and pushing back. And that's where you want to feel the stretch, is the leg that's on the ground right in through the front of that hip. And that's, again, to stretch out that hip flexor, those muscles that are attaching right deep down into that spine. You want to hold that truly for about 30 seconds to a minute. And if you're somebody that sits a lot during the day, you want to do that several times a day so that you reach about three to five minutes for that stretch during the day. You can even do this up on the car if you're someone that drives a lot and put your foot right up on the bumper of the car. And those are three really quick, easy fixes that you can try to do for your back to help it make it feel better right away. This is Dr. K with Momentum Physical Therapy and Fitness. Thanks for joining me today.